Hi everyone and welcome to another video. Today we'll be talking about the iron iron carbide phase diagram. The iron iron carbide phase diagram is quite complex so we usually look at weight percent of about 6.6% carbon. So basically a combination of iron and carbon makes steel and how you have this combination is because steel is made up of iron atoms which are represented by these red big red dots and carbon which is represented by these green dots so carbon serves as an impurity or what we call an interstitial atom so it takes the place of any gaps within the atoms within iron so if you if you have a look at this microstructure this phase diagram on the left the vertical line represents pure iron and this line on the right represents cementite, which is Fe3C, or iron carbide. So this region here is alpha, and it's also called ferrite. This is very soft and ductile iron, and it has very little solubility of carbon in iron. It's about 0.02 weight percent of carbon, and that's because... Alpha ferrite has a an atomic or has a crystal structure called body center cubic, which looks like this, and it has very little interstitial positions for carbon to fill. So because of that, you have much less solubility of carbon in alpha ferrite. Moving on to this phase, this is the two phase alpha plus gamma region. The upper region gamma is also called austenite. And that is face center cubic. And so you have, which looks like this. So you have much more interstitial positions or much more gaps within the atom for carbon to fill. So because of that, you can see that here there's a much higher solubility of carbon in gamma, which is about 2.14 weight percent. And then you move to the delta region, which is also ferrite which is also body center cubic. This side is also is the liquid region. This is the alpha plus liquid region and the liquid plus cementite region. Then you have austenite plus cementite and then you have ferrite plus cementite. There are also these points here. This point is called a eutectic point. We explained it previously in the Latin phase diagram. If you haven't seen that video, you can watch it on my channel. But that explains what eutectic simply is. So it's when you have liquid converting directly into a two-phase solid. But there's also another point here called the eutectoid point, and that's when solid converts directly into two solid, two-phase solid solutions. So you have gamma converting directly into alpha plus plus cementite, and they're both solid solutions. So on here, this region to the left of the eutectoid is called the hypoeutectoid, and the region to the right of the eutectoid is called the hypereutectoid, which is here. So if you look at the microstructure evolution, if you start from a point somewhere here within the gamma region, this is how the microstructure would look like. You would have gamma within it's just it's just gamma it's just a single phase solid solution gamma which is austenite once you start to move once you start to cool it down into this region here the alpha plus gamma you have alpha ferrite which begins to form on the grain boundaries like this this is called primary alpha or pro eutectoid alpha once you cross the eutectoid region the remaining gamma will convert to a combination of alpha and cementite, which is called perlite. And this is shown by alternating layers of, of alpha and cementite. This is the same for the eutectic reaction, where you have atomic diffusion of carbon. So because of that, you get these alternating layers. If you also look then at the hyper eutectoid, which is this region here, the region to the right of the eutectoid point. The microstructure evolution is quite similar to the hype 
to the hypoeutectoid. So you start with gamma, which is, you start with just a single phase solid solution. And then once you cool it down, you move into the gamma plus Fe3C region, which is this region here. You start to have the cementite forming within the grain boundaries. And then once you move down to this region here, once it cools down further, you then have alternating layers of alpha and cementite, which also forms per perlite. But the difference between the hypereutectoid reaction and the hypereutectoid reaction is that the grain boundaries for the hypereutectoid is cementite, which is shown here. But in the hypereutectoid, the grain boundaries is alpha ferrite. I can also note that alpha ferrite is soft and ductile and cementite is hard and brittle. Now we finally look at the eutectoid reaction. For the eutectoid reaction we just convert directly from the gamma phase to perlite. We do not have alpha on the grain boundaries or cementite on the grain boundaries. We just go directly to perlite so it's just a complete conversion from austenite to perlite and perlite is alpha plus cementite so thank you so much for joining us in this video and hope you enjoyed it